In this video we take a look at a lift on a crane. So when you're in Europe and in the countries that have a good exchange rate in their favour, so because of the exchange rate often more wealthier and can buy more unnecessarily tat, often you see on building sites not just cranes but top of the range luxury cranes with a lift. These cranes must be the ultimate in luxury. Or so I thought until I actually went and had a look at the bloody thing. And these lifts are so bad I am shocked that they even exist. So let's go along to our crane and that lift looks really, really bad and that's because it is. The lift tracks, the two metal poles, are clipped onto the crane itself and the lift looks very badly supported. The shake lift tracks a wobble all over the place. It is very badly hooked onto the crane itself. <laughs> oh, that's a tiny little shake, look. I and in fact the lift is not part of the crane it's an aftermarket thing that you can just clip onto a crane so it's not even part of the crane it's just like a bit of tat clipped onto it it's appalling but the scary bit is when we started to think does this thing even have safety gear and we can't work it out we've looked online for pdfs and we actually don't know we've got a suspicion that it doesn't there are just two cables on this lift one of the cables goes and attaches to the lift itself. The other one goes behind the lift. So it's the second one, a secondary safety, which the lift locks onto to stop it falling if the main one snaps. Or is the second one just the other end of the first cable and does nothing? We literally do not know if this thing has safety gear or not, but it looks like it doesn't because we couldn't see any signs of it. The first cable, the main cable, is not attached to the lift. It actually goes through a pulley wheel on the lift with a motor. So this is a direct drive lift, not a climbing lift because it does not climb up a rack and pinion is a direct drive lift like the Schindler direct drive the motor's on the lift and runs as a traction wheel like a regular motor but actually mounted to the lift and pulls the lift up the cable it's cheap nasty has a capacity of 200 kilograms maximum of two people the lift cab is absolutely tiny you can barely fit one person into it and it's all round bad and the lift does not even go down to the ground floor and since this crane is not particularly tall it's only 30 meters the lift doesn't go to the ground floor and it does not even go up to the top where the crane cab is, meaning that this lift barely does anything of use on this small crane. So let's now take a look at the only PDF we could actually find of this. And the company that makes this, 2Mac, don't say much about it online. Maybe they just sell it but don't want people to look too closely at what utter shit they're actually producing. This is the only PDF we found. This one's in French. You can't find much in English because you don't get these in English. They're completely not compliant. And let's read for this. Compliant with the obligation. I question that one. Great simplicity and ease of use. Yes, that one I will agree with. So let's just go back to the crane and take a look at the attack attachment and it is barely attached. This is up the top of the crane now so this is the top ropes that take the entire weight of the lift and this is how it's attached to the crane just clipped on with the tiniest bit of metal. This isn't just a bit of metal that's connected to the tracks this is the main top beam that the lift is suspended off of and that's all that's holding it. It is an utter piece of nasty cheap shit. So back to the PDF, next bullet point is high efficiency on the site, mm, maybe, preserves the health of your crane operators, that is a lie, the only exercise the crane operators actually have in the day is climbing up the crane, and you've taken that away from them, so they'll get fat and lazy. In an emergency, the AMG crane operator 2MAC can be used independently of the power supply, hmm, our product conforms to security requirements of the strictest quality. Nope, not true at all. Then the last bullet point says 200 kilograms, two people, and goes 150 meters. Runs at 18 meters a minute, which is an incorrect measurement of speed. It runs at 0.3 meters a second, and that's pretty much everything about it. So let's go inside this shitty lift. It's got two doors. There's no interlocks or anything. One door faces the crane. The other door faces the outside, which is never used since the lift doesn't actually go to the ground floor. And to get in the lift, you have to step across a half meter gap where it'd be possible to fall down the entire way down to the ground and inside it there's just a box with relays on it there appears to be no actual logic to it it's like just manually controlled directly powers the motor no vf drive or anything it doesn't seem to be any call buttons at the top or bottom so if the lift's not there you have no way of calling it and this lift refused to move we are not sure why we made sure all the doors are shut made sure all the emergency stops were out it definitely has power but it didn't go anywhere which is disappointing because i really wanted to ride it and when you're in this lift it feels like it could fall at any moment it feels like it's almost nothing holding you up and if you 
wobble the lift very slightly. It wobbles so crazily much, it feels like it will give way. This is the nastiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Fucking hell.